With these systems, uh, the analysts are tagging the suspect description uh, by examining the video, finding somebody committing a criminal act, and then we have a code, so they're entering specific details, such as a person who is uh, wearing dark pants, uh, the person is tagged with zero uh, short, a uh, person has a blue uh, a hockey shirt with the number one on the back, uh, this person is also wearing a light colored pair of pants, and the, the offense is breaking and entering. So once that information is logged in there, the, uh, another analyst could come along in Vancouver and could look for that particular incident because perhaps they see somebody dressed like that at another offense. And so what we'll do is they'll go to a custom column search and they'll sift it by 03 hat male with a long uh, lower pants dark in color and say, okay, and in this particular incident we had one person uh, come up with, with uh, that description and we can see what that person looks like, we can play it in the preview monitor, and then we can confirm that's the person. Uh, if this system were tied to the entire database, there might be five or six or seven people who are involved in criminal activity who would look exactly the same, two of whom might be the same person. And here's another example. We have a woman who has been described as committing a break and enter, and so what I can do is I can log her information as, as female under gender, Lower clothing is 01 for light and dress. So I'm looking for any woman that matches that description. And we have one right here. Uh, this is, now I can look at the video of her. So, so this went through a thousand different images in this system and came up with the hit that we were looking for. And we'll be identifying her at a later date.